Yeah, we're we're going on YouTube. Yeah, it only allowed me to do it on the YouTube backup channel, but I don't know what's going. I'm just making the the uh, manual announcement everywhere, and we will go in live. Thank you, Josh. Thank you so much. Yeah, let me send you the link. It's on the live games channel. Yeah. <sighs> Yay! <laughs> John, we're letting people know that we're doing this on YouTube right now. Hello, everybody. My name is John Zinser. I'm the owner of All Direct Entertainment Group, and I am your host today for Tiny Towns at Noon. Today, we are graced by the presence of Elizabeth Hargrave. You'll notice. Hi. Hi, Elizabeth. Welcome to Tiny Towns at High Noon. You'll notice that most of us have butterflies up in our background because we are super excited about the butterfly game that we have coming. Um, 
I didn't get uh, the memo. Didn't get the memo. <laughs> that's, that's my fault. That is glad but fault. also, right. I have really curly hair, and it does not work well with, with backgrounds on Zoom. I have what, what do you mean about that? See? See? I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah, like you, you, have a, you have a nice edge. Mine is like, it's, it gets very confused. It gets very fuzzy. <laughs> it blends into the background. <laughs> All right, this so with us from EG today, we've got Vladimir Orlana. Are you playing today, Vlad, or are you no, just No, 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 being... I'm, just, I'm just doing the production part. Just doing the production part. Josh Wood, developer of Tiny Town. Sorry, I was going to say Mariposa. <laughs> uh, Ryan Dancy, our COO. Hello. Peter Pearson, our designer of Tiny Towns. Howdy. I've already introduced Elizabeth, the designer of uh, Mariposa's. Mark Wooten, the developer of Mariposas. Hi, everybody. Luke Peter Schmidt, our Kickstarter <laughs> guru, who is Die. setting up to run our new Kickstarter, Dead Reckoning. Sadly, Rose is not with me today. Oh, oh that is a bummer. Yeah. All right, everybody, I'm going to get started here. Oh, well, before we... you start, I want to say hi to everyone on the chat. Thank you for coming to YouTube today. We had some problems connecting to Facebook and the other platforms, but... Thank you all for coming and be visiting us here. Thank you, David, Jack, Thomas, Shane, Dan, Allison, Amy, it's Josh, Thomas, Michael, Berlin, Julian, Amy, Amy, and Damjan. Yeah, most of the good, most of the crew came came over here. Thank you for all coming, right. guys. Yeah, absolutely. John, Hi, everybody. Hey, everybody. We're going to start today off with wheat. Oh, you know what? That's not true. We're going to start with wheat, but I'm going to actually tell everybody the setup real quick. That would be helpful. So we're going to play with Cottage as usual. Today's small round building is the Millstone. We're playing with the Taylor, the Temple, and the Tavern, the three T's. So Pete and I called them. Pete's is what you you call them, huh? Pete's favorite um, warehouse style building, the bank, a farm, and today's special. Um, what is this called? Monument. Monument. Thank you. Monument Monday. The special monument is the Northern Sephamore. Semaphore. Wow. Okay. Second try. So really quick, the way that monument works is after you have built it, whenever you construct a building, you can place a resource of your choice. Um, so it's going to give you a lot more control over what resources you get to put onto your board. And can you okay. talk about how the bank works in this setup? Yes. Sure. So after you construct a bank, you're going to choose one of the five resources to put in that bank, as long as it isn't already on any of the other banks. And now, when it is your turn to choose a resource every three calls, you cannot choose the resource that is on your bank. However, with Northern Semaphore, you could still uh, choose that resource when you construct a building through the ability of Northern Semaphore. So every third call, when it's your choice, you cannot choose anything on any of your banks. Ah, that's Unless why you build a building, bank, which then you can put something on your board. Now, if you have the bank, and you've also already built your northern semaphore. Could you choose that thing that's on your bank? Yes. Uh, it's almost like you just said that. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> I was listening, but on delay. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a um, there there's this thing where if you want to know who made the setup for each time, if the bank is in, Pete set it up. If it's not in there, then then maybe I then, then there's a good chance I did it. But today I put the bank in here. I was wondering why I put the bank in here because Pete already gives me too much of the garbage at the bank. But it's because <laughs> you get to break that cool rule with the semaphore. I knew I had a plan. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, everybody. We're going to start with wheat to get this, this game off to the races. Glad you took the blame for the setup, Josh. Thank you. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I remember before we went on air, Josh was denying vehemently that he was responsible for this setup. As soon as he saw the cool combo, he's now trying to take credit. Here. I mean, <laughs> that is that is my style. Reminds me of a famous Golden Ticket episode of The Office a little bit. Yes. I can't believe we're not doing bird trivia today. 
we can always go to Mark to find. We can always do some bird trivia. We were gonna do. We were gonna do the some. Wingspan bird deck somewhere. I can start just reading out bird facts. <laughs> and quizzing you guys. John, did and you we say we can do over under with just birds' wingspans? There you go. <laughs> wheat and then wood, Vlad. Wheat and then wood. Thank you. And then everybody, dealer's choice is the next card. Dealer's choice. Oof. Dealer's choice. Yeah, we in an attempt to amp up the difficulty in a game that's already ridiculously hard, John has started to do trivia games while he calls. Right. So I, I was kind of expecting the bird trivia today. All right, everybody. Wood is the next one. Everybody was complaining about wood in this setup, and I'm giving so you why a am I Why am I no not wood. surprised? It is the not worst. Not surprised at all. I'm giving you some wood. Just stop. David is just letting me know that this is the 38th day that we have been playing Tiny Tones Live. Yeah, it is. That's amazing. That pretty good. All right, everybody. Up after that is Stone. Stone. Wow, what am I going to do with that stone? I don't know, Joan. What are you going to do with that stone? This is a very interesting setup. Oh, thank you. The first of many <laughs> Thank you, Sashi. Everyone spent some time trying to find a nice ba uh, butterfly background to be with Elizabeth today here. That's nice. Oh. All right, everybody. After Stone is Dealer's Choice. After Stone is Dealer's Choice. We do love our butterflies. We were just talking uh, before the stream began how interesting it is that people like butterflies in a, in a way that they almost don't like any other insect. You know, if, if it was, if this was a game about the migration of the tarantulas from Mexico to Canada, <laughs> that's, that's an R rated horror game. Yeah. But, yeah. You know, butterflies, yes. like everybody likes them, they're, they're universally beloved. Yeah, they really are good. like the only insect that everyone right? will tolerate. Absolutely. Yeah, Brick is your next call, everyone. Brick. And thanks for reclassifying tarantulas there, by the way, Ryan. Oh, yeah, they're not <laughs> insects. They're not insects. Huh? All right. I know that there's an insect yeah, in our pod. You got to be very careful about talking right. about science and animal like facts around Elizabeth and Mark. Like, <laughs> I used to think that I was very detailed about like my animal trivia. Like I'm known in my working group about being like the person who knows the most about animals. And there's like a biologist in our gaming group. But uh -huh. I, I gotta say right now, Mark and Elizabeth both just like have me is completely. It, like, is that just another brick, bounce. John? Brick is the next one. It went brick, brick. Ooh, brick. Oh, brick. 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 Not good. Double brick. Can we but just never have John call you again? <laughs> if you Mark? think about it, a butterfly without its wings just looks like a big ant. Yeah. Right? But no. I mean, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's the how this day is going to go. Or... So, Michael is saying that he's excited about mariposas, that anyone that can make a fantastic game about birds, bird watching, can make a game about anything. Then Allison is saying yeah. that tarantula migration is something like, ew. Amy yeah. says that butterflies are so much better than murder hornets. Yeah, that's true. Murder murder hornets. Hornets. Yeah. I, I predict there will be a game about murder hornets in the next year. Oh, oh yeah, for sure. On Kickstarter. I imagine there won't be. <laughs> All right, there's my monument. So Pete, Paus is asking yeah. monument constructed does this mean i can put a resort or is it after the next building after the next building after, from this point forward when you construct the building you get to place a resource of your choice what was the last call there john what, what uh, no brick brick then dealer's choice okay dealer's choice dealer's choice okay i'm building my monument Everybody going for the early monuments. My mind was really scared about spiders when I was a kid. To the point that I can come to her and start doing this in front of her face. And she will hit me and start screaming and she got really altered. She never liked spiders. But any other type of insect, you will see her on the fields, playing with the little things, crawling around her, and she will be so happy. It was just the spiders. Well, Ryan has a theory about spiders. Here we go, folks. Yep. Glass. Glass. Yep. Glass. Yep. Ryan has a theory about spiders, which is completely unfounded, but it, it's the only it's way. It's a great that theory. 
It's only when this otherwise logical black brain can, can resolve the fact that he has a phobia about spiders. <laughs> it, it, is, it is all completely true, except for the speculation at the end. Okay. <laughs> a, pho a phobia is defined as an irrational fear of something. And I contend that being afraid of spiders is not irrational, therefore it is not a phobia. And the reason is that in the dark depths of history, there was a period of many tens of millions of years where the most dangerous animal on the planet was something that looked roughly like a spider. It was way more dangerous than anything else. And every other form of life on earth evolved an instinctive reaction to seeing one of these things to be frightened and to run away. And we are heir to all of that genetic legacy. Yeah, so basically- I, I, I don't know, it breaks down to the fact that my cat loves chasing spiders around my house. Yeah. Oh, everybody, glass. Do we glass. have another glass? I always like spiders. I think they're cool. So, so yeah, basically Ryan's theory is we, we, we share some sort of genetic memory with a prehistoric fly. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I mean, if you think about it, spiders, they are fast, they can climb on any surface, they have eyes they can see in almost 360 degrees. If they catch you, they will envenom you, lay their eggs in you, and then keep you alive so that when their babies hatch, they have something to eat. Like, they are the most fearsome, terrible things that this planet has ever created in terms of a top predator. Well, welcome to family day at all. Yeah. <laughs> Michael is, saying, is choice, everyone. Choice. Michael is saying that the next Tiny Town suspension should be Murder Hornets. Murder yeah. Hornets. <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait did, did we accidentally leak that, Pete? Did we leak that? <laughs> I kind of can't wait for the Murder Hornet game. I'm sure it'll be cool. And, and Joanne is saying that, sorry, spiders are not insects. You are correct. Yeah, right. Yeah. We got it. Correct. <laughs> Looks like an insect. Feels like an insect. All right, everybody. Next up is brown. Everybody's favorite today. Of course it is. Oh. Make it go away. Kill it with fire. Okay, Ryan. That's you need the to third round this, this third round this deck, so oh. we're good for this. Seshi is saying that your theory actually makes sense. I don't particularly hate the spiders, and I can see them up close and everything, but if they surprise me near, I'm almost certainly will kill them on spot. I like that guy. <laughs> oh, geez. I gotta tell you, I stayed with Mark up in, uh, I stayed with Mark in um, Scotland, and I was laying on his floor, and this big old daddy long leg spider just came zooming across the floor at me, and I went pop and killed it. Mark's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Everybody weep. And this is why Let's Mark and I work control. together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you spider. nearly slept outside that night. I did nearly oh, sleep outside goodness. that night. I leave it's spiders totally alone because we also get house centipedes here, which mm. are just my least wow. favorite. Dealer's Choice there? Dealer's Choice is the last call oh, of right. this deck. And since we're doing the last call of this deck, I'm going to put on the screen a giant picture. Well, that was wheat mm. and dealer's choice, correct? I'm making yeah. a cottage. Yes. So I'm putting on the screen a giant picture of the Mariposas board. Nice. If anyone has not seen that, that's the game. Mariposas. And Mark, can you tell us a bit more about Mariposas, please? Well, you're not going to ask Elizabeth? Sure, I'm going to ask <laughs> the both of you. <laughs> I was still busy building everything. cottages. <laughs> Um, Mariposas is a game that's inspired by the, it tells the story of the migration of monarch butterflies, which is a species of butterfly that um, spends the winter in central Mexico and then can migrate as far north as Canada um, in hey. the summer months. And they're beautifully displayed behind several of my competitors here. <laughs> all right everybody i'm ready to start the second deck all right all right i'm gonna start you with a stone mm. nice i appreciate well, that's it that's an interesting challenge it is oh, an interesting huh. challenge I think one of the first things that i did when i arrived for the first time to ag is actually say michoacan correctly <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> it's Michoacan. 
How is everyone else saying it? Oh my god. That we <laughs> Did you hear John say my last name? Like Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I I think I'm being picked on for absolutely no reason, which means I'm gonna give you wood, everyone. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, Bye, what have you done? Dealer, get a wood. Well, John, so. don't you live in Southern California? Hey. I have no defense. I have no defense. I'm in the bottom. Wood. I don't want the wood. What are you doing with the wood? My uh, board trap. I'm making, I'm making millstones, basically. Uh, I don't Amy, know what to do with that wood. Pete, Amy says that they. she also has house centipedes, too, and that they are good insects because they eat other bugs. Arachnids. But, Spiders. <laughs> oh, the centipedes eat other insects? Yeah. Ah. Uh, Interesting. All right, everybody. Dealer's choice is your next up. Dealer's choice. And but Michael they're so is just terrible that... and so fast. Yeah, Michael is saying that centipedes are Satan's insects. And he I'm okay with things. regular centipedes. It's house centipedes, which are the ones with the really long legs mm -hmm. that move in that unsettling way. Not my favorite. We we had a crazy conversation, Pete and I, at uh, Gen Con, I think, or no, or was it Gamma? Where it was Gamma. I, I was talking about silverfish for my house, and I and I was saying how I actually really like silverfish. Like, I find them very cute. Like, I I have this like weird thing where I find silverfish to be like kind of this like adorable like prehistoric looking bug, and then like. Pete was like, "No, those are the worst things." And then we found out that he was talking about these house centipedes. And then like, and like he was describing them. I'm like, we're talking about the same thing. He's like, how can you think those things are cute? And then he pulled up a picture. I was like, whoa, that is not what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Next up is wheat. wheat. All right, there's a bank. I'm making a farm. Oh my God, my board is just crap. <laughs> that is so life. bad. I think I'm uh, there you go, Elizabeth. That's that's right. That's Ryan's day most days. He comes in with this meticulous plan and then usually right. back to the deck. You hear? It doesn't oh, doesn't no. provide contact with the enemy. That's for sure. All right, everyone, raise your hand if you have forgotten to use the ability of Northern Semaphore up until now. <laughs> you should no. That's my my downfall of this manual. I build it and then I completely forget that I get to put a resource of my choice after every single building I make. I've used it twice. It's been great. Just so bad. For you. Guys, Pause is asking when is Mariposas coming out? Never. No. Okay. <laughs> kidding, kidding. That's why we're kidding. all here today. Yeah, because <laughs> we're going to tell you that we were never going to release Mariposas. It's going to go into a box and we will open it in a hundred years. And oh, then you can God. get your copy. <laughs> bad news, everyone. We're not releasing it, but we did put our backgrounds as <laughs> butterflies. That's the good news. It will be available in August. I think what I'm learning from the from the chat today is people just really hate all bugs and insects, um, except, except for butterflies. butterflies. I don't think that's true. All right, everybody, we started off stone, wood, dealer's choice, wheat, brick, dealer's choice. Oh, I'm still figuring out my brick. Oh, take your time. Take your time. I was there a brick? OK, and then oh, dealer's choice. Brick. It's OK. I didn't hear the brick either. All right. Which of these do I want for the dealer's choice? That's another cottage. Emmy says that she's loving the new monument. I think it's very powerful. Oh, it is very powerful, without a doubt. Oh, I just realized. So if, if I build something which lets me place a resource, which lets me make a building, which lets That's me right. place a resource. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Wooten. <laughs> In, figured it, it out. In the way that I would say that um, Elizabeth knows a lot about her, you know, animal and like bird facts, uh, I would say Pete knows a lot about weird medieval buildings. And so we put a semaphore in, in Fortune and then we liked it so much that we put a semaphore in, in, the, in this. And Bring we we literally Bring. might also make an Eastern and a Western semaphore. <laughs> Well, these, so these semaphore towers, for anyone who's unfamiliar, were used to send messages across spans of hundreds of miles relatively quickly. They've got these wooden arms, this mechanism that is controlled by someone inside the tower, and they send semaphore patterns to another tower that's visible a few miles away. And so, like, all across France, they would send messages about the stock market in the mid-19th century, and it was a form of really quick <laughs> communication. 
Okay. Mm. I mean, it seems to me like that's how they're transmitting information about the stock market now anyway, so. <laughs> what was that class called, John? Wood. Oh, oh my God. Oh, wait, you called a wood? So bad. I keep looking at my board and missing your calls, I think, is what's going on. No, that's what it's called right now. But but what was before? Okay. It that went wood. Stone brick, wood, right? dealer's choice, wheat, brick, dealer's choice, brick, wood. Dealer's choice. Okay, brick. I missed the brick. Wow. Les um, Leslie's saying that ladybirds are also lovely insects. Yes, ladybugs might be the only other one. Oh, yeah. Ah, and fireflies. Does anyone hate ladybugs? It seems like those are pretty... Yeah. yeah. And dragonflies. People like dragonflies. Fireflies. Fireflies. Well, fireflies. Dragonflies are also pretty really beautiful. Big big dragonfly fan. Yeah. I like grasshoppers. Crickets. Ooh. I like praying mantises. Which reminds oh, me, yeah, those are Josh, awesome. are you going to watch Grable the Fireflies finally? Oh, I've There's seen it before. Everybody. I've seen it before. I, I just forgot to put that on there because... <laughs> Yeah, just so everyone knows what we're talking about, um, I, I just made a big post um, because, you know, HBO Max comes out soon and they're going to have all the Miyazaki movies. And I listed the seven I've seen and I was looking for uh, ones that I haven't seen of recommendation. But I I, um, I have seen great, great. Uh, I've, I've been warned that one needs to be prepared to see it. Yeah, Do you that, that one, yes. Do you <laughs> I haven't watched it yet. All right. Where, Be prepared, Elizabeth. Be prepared. <laughs> Did you just call something, John? I called Dealer's Choice like seven times. <laughs> wow, seven choices. You get your pick of seven cues. Dealer's Choice seven times. Okay, I can deal with that. I'm, <laughs> I'm rapidly approaching a Luke Peter Schmidt patented board flip here. <laughs> yeah. I've got trouble. So Th This is the worst board I think I've, I've had since the day when I scored one point. Oh, maybe you'll get worse than that. All right, everybody. Next up is no. That's what I just. What is it? I can't quite see it. Choice. Wheat. Next up is wheat. Oh, wheat. Not bad. Not bad. Ooh. Wow, that is. That is the unspoken move. law of tiny towns, Elizabeth. Whatever I'm you choose out. as dealer's choice will be flipped next. I am out. Oh, <laughs> oh. wow! I you are out. Oh. I am out. Oh, John, your minus one might be. Uh... I don't think so. I had a lot of minus points in mine. Like I, was I got four caverns built. And that's the only thing that's going to save me. All right, everybody. Are we ready? Yeah. Yes. Just for you, another oh. wood. Oh, wow, oh, Max Wood. Crazy. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That could be it. You're welcome, Mark. Wow. This is going to be the fastest game of Tiny Tons that we have ever played. <laughs> it is. You called, you called the one resource that nobody wants three times on both runs through so far. Yeah, we're at max wood. Six woods in two rounds. There we go. Dealer's choice after that. You can use that to go get some wood. If All you right. Want. That gives me... <laughs> Alison is saying, please, That's John, Taylor. do not count more wood or brick, please. And she's crossing her fingers. We like we like brick here. We just don't. The question like... is where to put it. The tailor. There. Do that to do that. Oh, Michael is saying that he actually play on Zoom with his several of his friends and nephews, and he now has a newfound respect for the people that do the callouts on this game. It takes a lot of focus. Yep. Thank you very much. Yep. Thank you very much. All right, everybody. Next up after that dealer's choice is glass. Ah, our next choice. The thing I just chose. <laughs> that's the magic of Tiny Towns. That's the, that's the rule of Tiny Towns, Pete. Yep. <laughs> you should know that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Whew, feeling a little trapped here. Oh, so bad. <laughs> so, so bad. Did I put oh, the next building so I get to put a thing down? It's really funny. My strategy today, I was just going to build two farms to suck up the wood and then just build a bunch of cottages. Um, and I didn't do that at all. And I, um, I'm paying for it. All right. Let me help you out with some more glass. Oh. Double glass. Oof. 
Woofa. That's triple oh, glass answer. for beat. No. Oof. Oh no. my god. Could I'm actually trying to think if there's any feasible way I can get out of this hole that I'm in. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Just like that, no. I don't know if there's anything I can do with this glass here to help me either. I'm okay. In trouble. Well, we will prepare for the next round and shuffling. Pete, uh, you asked me to put something on the screen, right? Um, oh, sorry, yes. look. Oh, yes. Last yes. card is dealer's choice, everyone. Last card is dealer's choice. Okay. Right, so if I build that. It's going to be shown on the screen right now. There it is. This. So All can, right. can you tell us can you tell us what sure. we are looking at? So what you are seeing is the art for uh, upcoming Tiny Towns promo card that is uh, inspired by the upcoming Dead Reckoning game of swashbuckling adventure. So we've got a pirate. What's the name of the card? We're not going to release the ability yet. But Josh, what do you call in this building? It's the Pirates Den. Is that what we're saying? Mm -hmm. Yep, Pirate's Den. Yes, and if you notice, it's got an awesome... Oh, look at the parrot got there. Vlamps are good. Yes, it's got a little ah. peg -like parrot going on there. Uh, Just goes well with the art. That's right. <laughs> we will be uh, uh, giving out the what the thing does next week over on the Follow the Kickstarter page. So stay tuned, and you will see... A magical free print and play card. I I I'm sorry. I have to be. I have to play the role of Elizabeth right now. Um, that is not a parrot in the art. Parrots are too big for this world. That is a red masked parakeet. Um, oh yes, ah, red masked. I was going to say that, except I didn't know. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth, the things you have to do when you publish games with people to put up with this. This is, we really appreciate you coming and putting up with this. <laughs> much <laughs> all right everybody now we're on the third shuffle of the deck sorry i have to be i have to play the role of elizabeth right now um that is oh sorry <laughs> oh no yeah, we're in a time loop <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me this time that was todd part coming in hi i just gotcha. wanted to jump in and say hello now that my internet's working again hi todd, hey, todd. welcome <laughs> i've been up in the attic Fixing the line. Well, you, you wow. have been on the chat, right? Thank you so much for being there and answering people's questions. So Jack is asking, where is this promo? When is this promo? And where is this promo available? Well, Look. next week, it'll be available for uh, print and play download. And because it's Tiny Towns, that'll be fine. And during the campaign, it may be made available as a printed card. We're not 100% sure yet. Stay tuned. And Emily right, is everybody. asking for a pirate place and pirate ports in tiny taverns. All right, here we go. All right, here we, we do go. We have taverns in this game. Yeah. First up for this go through is stone, everyone. Stone is our first choice. Really? I mean, I can't imagine that anybody else is in as bad a shape as I'm in right now, except Ryan. Oh, really? I've, I've got, I've, I have four tailors built. They're going to score one point each. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty bad. <laughs> Um, I, oh, I, I do want to say something real quickly. So, so Elizabeth, something I, I did want to like make sure I, I, I said this uh, was um, something I really like about your, your your designs and the work that you do is that you're a very earnest designer. You like you don't just make you know just like whatever hobby I mean whatever theme just like c comes along. You like specifically are like you you like love the thing that you are making a game about. And it really like shows, and and like I just wondered if you had any like thoughts about that. Thoughts about it? Thank you for saying it that you can tell, because um, it is true. Like the things that I get inspired to make games about are definitely things that I care about. And I guess it's that's like how I got started being a designer was sort of wondering why there were no games about the things that I cared about, and deciding to just go make one. Turns out people like the same things you like. Yeah, apparently so. <laughs> All right, everybody. While she's while she's gone, I'm going to give you yet another. Oh, one. really? Oh, John. <laughs> I, I'm actually really happy with that stone. I'm. I'm, I'm not very happy. close to the end here. I'm I have legendarily good color. I think I am a legendarily good color. Yeah. I am. 
I, I thought I found a, a little way out of the hole that was just going to mean I didn't get a whole bunch of negative points for having nothing in it, but you, you put pay to that, John. Good job. You're welcome. <laughs> You know, Elizabeth, after playing Wingspan for the first time in my in the office, the other choice, John, everyone will be there. And, and the rest of the team, I for the first time went to a park and just sit down to watch birds. Oh, took nice. the pictures. It, it was a nice experience. I've and, been hearing that from a surprising number of people. Yeah, it was. It was it was nice to you, and then every time that I step near that park, I sit down, I watch and try to fire out different birds. It just changes the way I interact in that situation. Thank you. Yeah. I, I will say it's even nicer right now to like, you know, you know I have like hummingbird, a hummingbird feeder and I have a lot of birds that come by my window and um, I sort of like watch them with my cat in the morning, just like outside my window. And but you and um, your cat are I, watching them with different things on your mind, of course. Do you make that? Do you make that chattering sound at them with your cat? Yeah, I do. I, I, I make that same little chatter noise. Yeah, she, my, my, my cat makes that chattering noise. It's so cute. Um, she, she's <laughs> an indoor only cat, this, so, so, so you don't have to worry about the. the wow. Um, yep. Wow, I am done. Wild. That killed oh, me. I was popping in to find out. Have you told? Uh, has anybody spoken about our awesome Guildhall deal? No, Todd. Yeah. Go, Todd. Go. Mm -hmm. oh. okay. All right. So at alderactstore.com, we are running a deal on a fantastic game. Um, it's called Guildhall Fantasy. Uh, in fact, you get four entire games for less than the price of two right now. If you look for our Guildhall for All deal, not only that, you can mix and match the cards from all four of the games. So you get even more variety every time you play. It's a fast playing card game for two to four four or five players of the league and um it's an incredible deal right now on our online store so visit alderactstore.com and it's the Very last 12 it's actually the last 12 days that we're going to be able to sell it we've been selling that game for eight years now but uh, we're going to hand it back to the designer who's got some plans for it in um in korea so um all right everybody wheat i'm out i'm out yeah wow those three stones killed everybody. Not me. I'm making much Taylor, so. Ooh. Yeah, well, I was making a bunch of until I ran out of room. Uh, yeah. I tried two strategies at one time. I should not have done that. Well, I, I thought my strategy was pretty good. good. Uh, I, I, it felt like it was a good strategy, right? I, I was using the wood just to build, um, to build uh, uh, millstones. And then I was using the millstones to fire up some stone to make building the tailors easy. And, and, and all my millstones were next to tailors. So I, 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 I'm so sorry. See, what was the, that last call? It was player's choice. Then? It was stone stone, player's choice. Stone wheat, player's choice. Thank you, Brad. So yeah, I, I thought I got a good plan, but it turns out I didn't. All right, everybody. Next up is wheat, stone, stone, player's choice, stone, wheat, player's choice. Stone. Those are all in tailors. I'm, I'm happy. I'm just I'm doing glass and using my little semaphore. Oh, I, you're starting I'm... to get results on the chat. Michael saying she's out with 21. David Bauer is out with 39. 39? Yeah. Wow. Well done. 39 is good. David, you're done after 38 days. <laughs> you are done. Next so up Elizabeth, is Elizabeth in the hopes. Glass. Oh, glass is good for me. Uh, in the hopes of maybe gaining some insight into future designs of yours, what are your other natural interests besides butterflies and birding? Um, I am also a big mushroomer. Ooh. Oh, rumor. I love yep. it. Yeah, I'm actually on the board of our local mushroom club, nice. which has like 500 members. Wow. But it's also a surprisingly popular. Different kind of mushroom club, John. Of the world. I was wondering. I was, There's I was overlap. Curious <laughs> uh, I'm like different choice. routes Listen, into the mushroom it. club. Listen, um, you could come across the psychedelic mushroom while you're yeah. with the mushroom. And yeah. if you're, you know, not with an expert like Elizabeth, you would. <laughs> <laughs> to tell. There, there's actually there's people doing really interesting research up at Johns Hopkins up in Baltimore, which is pretty close to us, um, on the use of psychedelics for treating depression and PTSD yeah, and smoking cessation. And uh, every time they come down, at, like we do monthly talks, and every time they do one of the monthly talks, the room just 
there are twice as many people that show up for that. Absolutely, they want to know about those Say the whole country is currently suffering from depression and PTSD. So, right. So mushrooms is the future of the world. They've been having really good results, though. They're they're. Um, I think they're going to be able to have good enough results that they're able to justify medical uses for. I'm, I'm okay in saying that I have actually tried psychedelic mushrooms and they are pretty great. Um, if <laughs> done agree. in the right dosage, of course. But this company does not <laughs> recommend <laughs> or promote yes. in, in any yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Luke. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't press the mute button as fast as I wanted. Uh, anyways, uh, uh, Pete, Alice is asking if the if the monument is worth any points. It is not, because it's just that good. It is just that good. It was pretty cool. Remember... Although, I feel like by generating a lot of cubes, it also Knocks you out or closes better. up your board. It does. Now. Yeah, so that doesn't matter a ton in Town Hall mode, but in Master Builder, it, you know, uh, it balances yeah. out a little bit, because you're going to end your game slightly early. Uh, and I'm, I'm done at this point. Elizabeth, I thought when you were asked what other hobbies you had, you were going to say, um, like, hand weapons of the Prussians in the First World War or something. Yeah. No, it's, it's much very predictable. Yeah, I, have a, I have a big vegetable garden. Oh, me too. Me too. <laughs> Josh, are you still in? I'm still in. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's I'm Josh. Dead. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Wood <sighs> for Josh. Wood. Ugh. Oh, we're so sorry, Josh. <laughs> I don't think you are sorry. You are, please, John. <laughs> right hand or left hand, guys? Which one should I give him? Left, left. hand. Wow, that was unanimous. Yes. Sweet. Uh, we were trying to help Josh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and dealer's choice. If you'd have picked right hand, that would have been wood, everyone. I, I like to see Josh succeed in everything he does. Me too. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I need, I need one thing. What you need? We pool our resources, right? And we divide the three points amongst us. Yep. So Shane is out with 26. <laughs> Amy is out with 23. Leslie is out with 19. Bryce is out with 24. Allison is out with 20. And Emily is out with 26. Julian is out with 19. Oh, I, think I'm about, I have 18. Really... So, I am good at this. All right, here we go, Josh. What are you looking for? I'm looking for back. What do you want? Brick. One, two, three. Whoa. No! I'm out. So I can say that so far, every number that's been read out is significantly ahead of me. <laughs> <laughs> I think David has the highest eight. score of the day. With yeah, 38, 38 is remarkable. Or well, we got to wait for Josh. Wild. I don't even know how that's possible. All right, everybody, it's time to add up our score. Put a few uh, extra resources up yep. there for everybody there, Vlad. Sure. And it's time to add up our scores. I got unlucky there at the end with all that stone. It really killed me. I got five of these little green guys, though. Wow. Oof. Oh, that's good. Um, that's a lot. That, that's about it. I got 22 minus six is... 16. There we go. All right. I am going to go to, we know that Vlad didn't have a score, so we're just yep. going to say Vlad got 24. Good score, Vlad. What did it, where did it go? <laughs> just 20, John. Just 20. You're giving me too much credit. Luke, you're up. What'd you get? All right. I have 26. Ooh, 26 wow. Is 26 is pretty good. There's my you know, Todd didn't play today. What kind oh. of shirt is that you're wearing there, Todd? Looks That's like... a sweaty shirt. I've been up in the attic getting my Wi-Fi working again so I can be productive the rest of the afternoon. Nice. <laughs> All right. Um, I am going to pick uh, Peter McPherson next for his score. Got 32. Things worked Whoa. out pretty okay oh. at the end there. Wow. Good. All right. Ryan Dancy, who was first out, how did you do? Four. What? <laughs> Yes! <laughs> yes! What? I was going to say, I feel like you guys have been practicing for six weeks and then you lure your guests in to play with these experts, but now I feel better. <laughs> I, I managed to build four caverns and two useless millstones. Yeah, I mean, so Elizabeth, that is true, but 
but don't worry, there's still like John and Ryan playing. So that's right. <laughs> Lord, bless you. People don't love their jobs. All right. Uh, so then I'm going to go to Mark Wooten. How'd you do, Mark? I beat Ryan. <laughs> oh, yay. So, 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 yeah. So today was my crash and burn day. I scored 10 points. Wow. Oh, uh, all right, and oh. then the only person who has not given me a score yet is Sir Josh Wood. How did you do, Josh? 60 something. 36 today. How many? 36. 36. Oh. 36 points. You know what? We did not do a giveaway today. Mark, what, do you have a what? butterfly question for our... Uh, what about our guest? For our fans out there? Well, I got, I got 18. Oh, 18. Well done, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, Elizabeth got 18. I was going to get to that in just a second. So, so, <laughs> so sorry. So <laughs> Here's, here's, your, here's your, your giveaway question for the day. So um, the, the food plant that uh, uh, monarchs feed on uh, contains some toxins and the, the monarch butterfly is actually full of a, a thing called the uh, cardenolides, which are poisonous. Um, and so their bright color is, is part of the ways that predators recognize them and, and avoid them because they taste horrible. But there is another butterfly in North America that looks almost exactly the same as the monarch butterfly. Um, with the same markings, it's a mimic, um, and I wonder, I want everybody to tell me, what butterfly is it in North America that looks almost exactly like the monarch and mimics it? Okay, first in with the answer is going to win a copy of Mariposa's when we have copies, so. Ooh, that's a tough one. Ooh. Yeah. Keep, keep that in the database. Yep. Well, Elizabeth, we really appreciate you joining us. We're super excited about the launch of Mariposas. Um, so am I. It is launching in August. We don't have a final launch date yet. We're still waiting to hear from, from, from the world about what's happening at that time of the year. But um, we, are, um, we, we are definitely going to be sold out of the product that we printed. So we're, we're pretty excited about it. Mark, Viceroy. Correct. Bryce Parkland is the winner of for the first awesome. giveaway of Mariposas. Let's give him right a clap. On. Fantastic. All right, everybody. So that was our um, that was our start to the week. A little tiny towns for everyone. Um, thank you for <laughs> Luke with the board flip. Excellent. Oh. <laughs> I love it. All right, well, we are going to leave this meeting and head to another meeting where we're going to talk about cool ships for the Dead Reckoning game. And um, I think that, the, uh, that the, um, the, the amount of time for me to start, you know, for us to start bugging uh, uh, Elizabeth about possibly letting us do another one of her games <coughs> is over. So, you know, if you start hearing from me just a little bit, Elizabeth, it's just because we're, we're having such a good time with Mariposa and we enjoyed That's working fair. so That's much. That's fair. Mark and I have some ideas, but I haven't started working on any of them yet. Totally fine. Mark is, you know, six games behind at this point already. So take the time. <laughs> Just don't do the tarantula migration game and we'll be okay. Yeah. <laughs> the next <laughs> migration game. All right, everybody, please stay safe. Stay home if you need to. Um, join us tomorrow for another game of Tiny Town. Choose our guest tomorrow. It's going to be... Uh, tomorrow it's going to be Matt, Matt Paquette. Paquette. Big Matt Paquette. He's, yeah. He is fun to play games with. That'll be great. Be creative. And the graphic <laughs> designer of <laughs> Mariposas. That's right. And, and the graphic designer of Mariposas, Mariposas, yes. Friends. It's like Butterfly right, Week. It's like our Shark Week. <laughs> our nice. Shark Week. Butterfly Week. <laughs> yeah. And it's the chat is asking week. for Elizabeth to come back. So please, Elizabeth, come yeah, back we'd love and that join us and play with us again. I'd be happy to. This was fun. Absolutely. Awesome. Great. All right. Very thank cool. you very much for our guest, Elizabeth. Thank you all guys for messing around for an hour. Josh, um, you'll call the meeting in about five minutes. And uh, have a great day, everybody. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Bye. 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 Stay safe. Bye. Super fun.